Hello students, how are you? I hope you guys are still healthy and still passionate to study about physics. Now we will continue our learning section on the topic of motion, and especially through the video, we will learn about the definition of motion in physics, the difference between distance and displacement, the difference between speed and velocity, and the uniform motion in straight line or UMSL. Did you know that the definition of motion in physics and daily life is different? Yes, after watch this video, you will find the difference and you will understand the concept of motion. What is motion? Motion is a change of the object position. Anything is said motion if the position is changed continuously. For example, a train moves toward a station. The station is taken as the point of reference. Number two, a student moves toward a school canteen. The canteen is taken as a point of reference. From the definition of motion, which are the animal that move or not, and give your reason. The animal that move are cheetah, dog, white cat that move its position, the bird that fly and move its position, and the other is not move because the position is not changing. For your note. Rightward motion is positive and leftward motion is negative. Next, what is the difference between distance and displacement? Distance is the length of path traveled by an object. Distance is always positive. Distance is a scalar quantity that only has magnitude and no direction. Displacement Displacement is the change of position of an object from its initial position, or a reference point. Displacement can be positive or negative. Displacement is a factor quantity because it has magnitude and direction. For example, the man moved from A to B with the distance is 250 meter and moved from B to C 300 meter. So what is the distance of the man from A to C through B? Yes, the distance is 550 meter. From A B plus B C 250 meter plus 300 meter so 550 meter. And the displacement is the length from A the initial position and C the final position. The answer is 100 meter. Example number 2. An object moves from A to B and then from B to C. What is the distance move and what is its displacement? Solution. The distance from A to B and B to C is 7 meter and the displacement is from A to C 3 meter to the right. Example number 2. The cat moves from A to B with the distance is 6 meter and then from B to C with the distance is 8 meter so find the distance and displacement the distance is 8 plus 6 equals to 14 meter and the scalar quantity because the path is triangle so to find the displacement is the length from A to C by using Pythagoras square root of 6 square plus 8 square so the answer is 10 meter look at the picture of ball the ball move with the path is green line and we call it distance and the displacement is the blue line example number four the cat move from A to C through O and B what is the distance the distance is 5 plus 5 plus 6 and the answer is 16. What is the displacement of the cat? From the initial position to final position, so minus 1 minus minus 5, so the answer is 4. Look at the picture number 2. The cat move from O to B to O to A to O and to C. What is the distance of the cat? The distance of the cat is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 3. So the answer is 23. 
What is the displacement of the cat? The answer is 3 minus 0, so the answer is 3. Look at the picture number 3. The dog moved from B to O to A to O to B and to C. What is the distance of the dog? Yes, the answer is 28. So what is the displacement of the dog? From B to C, so the answer is minus 8 or 8 to the left. Next, what is the difference between speed and velocity? Speed is the distance traveled divided by the duration of time during the travel. The rate at which an object moves it is speed. The symbol is V. The formula of speed is the distance traveled divided by time taken. The SI unit for speed is meter per second. The speed is scalar quantity because the speed only has magnitude but no direction. Next, velocity. Velocity is the displacement divided by the duration of time. Velocity must include the direction. Velocity is the vector quantity because it has magnitude and direction. The symbol is V and the formula of velocity is total displacement divided by time taken. The SI unit of velocity is meter per second and velocity is vector quantity because it has magnitude and direction. Next, average velocity. The change of displacement per unit time. Average velocity is vector quantity and from the graph, the straight line graph show that the object is moving with uniform velocity called as average velocity and the average velocity equals to the gradient. The formula of average velocity is x2 minus x1 divided by t2 minus t1 or delta x per delta t. Next, relative velocity. If we are walking in the moving train, then the speed of our walking is observed differently by one sitting in the bus and by the other standing in the train station. Two observers will get different velocity, although they came from the same object. This is what we call as relative velocity. Example 1. An object moves from P to Q in 3 seconds and from Q to R in 2 seconds. What is its speed and velocity? Distance D equals to PQ plus QR equals to 3 plus 4, so the answer is 7 meter. Time is T, 3 plus 2 is 5 seconds. So by the formula of speed, distance over time, so 7 over 5, so the answer is 1.4 meter per second. Displacement is P to R, so the answer is 5 meter. Time is 3 plus 2 is 5 seconds, so the velocity is displacement over time, so the answer is 1 meter per second. Example number 2. A stone is thrown vertically with a velocity VO is 20 meter per second and returns to its original position. Sketch the graph of speed against time and velocity against time to show its motion. Look at the answer. Analyze the difference between the graph of speed and the graph of velocity. Next, uniform motion in straight line or UMSL. The characteristic of UMSL are 1. Motion in a straight line 2. Motion with constant velocity or no acceleration and the variable are distance d, velocity v, and time taken is t. The formula of UMSL is v equals to d over t or to find t is d over v and to find d is t times v. This is the illustration of relative Illustration of average velocity. Next, this is the illustration 
how to find the graph of uniform motion in straight line or UMSL. This is the graph of distance against time. This is the graph of velocity against time. And the last is the graph of acceleration against time. The example of UMSL number 1. Someone drive the car with a constant velocity 15 meter per second. A. Calculate the distance at 4 second and 5 second. B. Find the time taken to complete 3 km distance. The solution. The given is velocity 15 meter per second. And to find the distance is V times T. So 15 times 4. The answer is 60 meter. And when the time is 5 seconds, to find distance is V times T, so 15 times 5, so the answer is 75 meter. And time taken to complete 3 km distance is T equals to D over V, so 3000 over 15, so the time taken is 200 seconds. Next example number 2, an object moves like a graph above. Calculate the distance travel at 4 seconds, B at 10 seconds, and C at 1 minute. So the answer is, from the graph, we find that the velocity is 5 meter per second with the constant velocity. A for T equals to 4 seconds, so to find distance is V times T, so the answer is 5 times 4 equals to 20 meter. B for T equals to 10 seconds. So D equals to V times T equals to 5 times 10, so the answer is 50 meter. C for T is 1 minute or 60 seconds, so D equals to V times T equals to 5 times 60, so the answer is 300 meter. Next example, car A and car B are separating 420 meter apart. Both of them move closer to each other at the same time with a speed of 40 m per second of car A and 10 m per second of car B. Determine where will they meet. Don't forget, if you want to answer this problem, you have to draw the illustration. The solution. Because time A equals to time B, so dA over VA equals to dB over VB. So, x over 40 equals to 420 minus x over 10 so 10x equals to 1680 minus 40x so 50x equals to 1680 so x is 1680 over 50 so the answer is x equals to 336 meter so the meeting point of the two cars is 336 from the starting position of car A. I think that's all for me. Thank you for your attention and God bless you.